Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to talk a wee bit today about escaping the past. So escaping the past and having a non-interest in the future. And I don't mean in the sense where you, you know, don't want things to happen in the future. I mean in the sense where you're not obsessed by your future outcomes and dependent upon all those things happening to make you happy. It's more a sense of um, having goals in mind but not being obsessed by those outcomes. A focus on bringing your attention and your awareness into the present to be fully engaged with what's going on right here, right now, and not getting lost in the past or obsessed about what's going to happen in the future. Getting your mindset away from that sort of idea that, you know, you need to change something in the world or you need something to get better in the world in order for you to be fulfilled. And it can be very difficult for people to let go of those ideas. And not everyone is ready to accept that or to try it. And that's okay. You know, we all come at things in our own time. The thing goes, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. It's about realising that there is no value in looking to the past for answers and there's no value in obsessing about the future. The only thing that we really do have control of and very limited is now. And not only can it be difficult for people to try it or to get into that mindset, it actually can be quite difficult for people to sort of understand it in a sense because in order to do it you have to start to go deep deep within the self deep within your belief systems and your value systems and uh, if there's things in there that need to be healed or resolved then you have to start to take a look at them and that can be very challenging. But it's about doing it in a gentle way, not a harsh way. You know, everything you want to do is gently, gently. And stepping out can be quite scary. The majority of the time we live in a place of, you know, when I get that job and I get that person or if only this person would like me or if my relationship was better with my family or if I had more money. A lot of people live in that sort of state of mind, that sort of outside of themselves. Sort of things like if that th only that thing hadn't happened two years ago, if only I hadn't lost that job, if only I hadn't said that thing to that person, or if only that person hadn't said that thing to me. You know, um, we live in these sort of altered states of always looking outside. And it's a big change when we start to come back to the present and realise we really have to start to look inwards. So all that sort of past or future orientated thinking is totally irrelevant to the now. And that's what you begin to realize that it's a sort of a wild goose chase. You go on in your mind and get hooked into it and it becomes a type of obsessive pattern and it just goes round and round and round again and again in a loop, going to the past, going to the future, going to the past, going to the future. And it's that sort of never-ending loop that we're not in the past and we're not in the future. 
every moment we experience is now. There's, n there's nothing else, just this moment that we're in. So it's about sort of stepping out of that and moving away from getting caught up in those thought patterns and getting lost in dreams or fantasies about the future or about people because they are all a type of illusion. We're going to try and escape from that escape from that sort of jumping back and forth and coming into the present. Being aware of what's going on right here and now in your daily life and getting your mind away from something to change or something to get better. A lot of the time, the reason that we do this is conditioning from our childhood and we sort of get programmed into these loops, sort of unaware, until maybe it gets to a stage where we can't manage it and we have severe anxiety, depression, things going on and we're wondering why we feel this way. And it's because we're stuck in these loops, these thought loops. So a thought creates an emotion, emotion creates a thought, and then depending on what that thought is, if it's self-sabotaging or you're feeling bad about yourself or your self-worth, then that will keep you in these sort of depressive or always sort of seeking, seeking, seeking states. Criticisms about yourself, criticisms about others. All these sort of things makes us search outside of ourselves to gain some sort of relief from the way we feel. Looking inside and coming to a more non-judgmental approach to yourself and to others. And coming into the present will start to make you feel a lot better. You can't just suddenly do it overnight. You have to keep reminding yourself that when your mind starts to run into the past or fantasies about something in the future, you have to stop and say, okay, there's the program and bring your focus into the present. And it can be something as simple as just stopping and looking at an object like a tree or a car, or what, focus on what you're doing if you're washing the dishes, start to focus on that. Start to, if you're driving the car, start to really focus on what you're doing in the car. Bring you out of that loop. And the more you practice it, the more you'll start to um, feel better and, and um, start to deal with then any issues that are coming up that have had you chasing your tail. So I've got lots of other videos on my channel that help you with that process that you can go and have a look at and techniques to help you with doing these things if you're interested. So until next time, have a really beautiful day. And from myself and my Luna and a beautiful morning here in London, take care and I'll see you soon.